I was. She's not. been playing this shit for weeks, evidently. <laughs> Months even. Hi, everybody. Months. Welcome into the Outcast Guild, where today um, might be our last session for the League of Misfits. I'm Geeks, the current DM of this channel. Current? Is that changing? It <laughs> might change if anything happens today. And you can find me here with some of my favorite friends over. Confused Sunday, Marcus, confused. <laughs> Sundays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays for D and D. But enough about me, Leo. How are you doing? Hi, I'm Leo. I'm an indie game dev and artist. You can find me on Instagram and or Twitter. There's even maybe a link tree in the chat somewhere. I'll be playing as... <laughs> Let's pass things. it on to Mark. Mark. Oh, hey. I'm Mark. You can just call me Mark because, you know, that's still my name. Um, you can find me here most Saturdays, nine times out of ten, uh, with the, the Outcast Guild slash League of Misfits, maybe, um, making all of the poor choices. Usually, I'm playing you everybody's favorite former Captain Buck, but no. No, no. He's very dead. Well, he's mostly dead. Probably going to be very dead. But we'll see. Amber, let's finish this shit show out. Yeah, hey guys. I'm, <laughs> I'm Bella. I play Amber, who is a dwarf druid. And yeah, um, somehow the two people, I don't know where they are in the meeting. I don't know if they're up here or if they're this way or like which way they are. So... But yeah, somehow their characters, somehow those characters died. Okay, like I don't know how, but they had they have dead characters now. Although I don't know how they died, probably because <laughs> they weren't healed. One of them is mostly dead. The other one's just splat dead. <laughs> anyway, the other one turned into orange marmalade. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it went MIA. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, you can find me here on uh, some of the Sundays uh, doing the Pokemon Nice Lock and uh, sometimes on Tuesdays and yeah, um, other than that, you can find me on TikTok at Bella underscore Cortez and yeah, I think we will pass it back off to the DM. Okay. Yeah. I have a question. Yes. I have a question. It's revolving Lieli's ultimate demise. He's a druid, isn't he? Mm -hmm. How much damage did he actually take? I actually rolled it. He mm -hmm. was dead two times over. If he would have wild shaped. He's I'm trying to think if there's any way. Options. If he were to oh, you were if he were to wild shape. Into... Like as he was jumping over, he jump he wild shapes, takes whatever damage, it reverts back to him. He wouldn't be able to wild shape again to have it take that. But it doesn't matter because Leo said he was out of wild shapes anyway. No, he just woke up in a long rest. Get one more. Mm, so you did. Oh wait, no, yeah, so you, have you one. dropped it. No, you didn't drop your beast one. I did drop. You dropped it, but you didn't go back into it. Would that have helped at all? Uh, I'm trying to see. Maybe, maybe Leo, Leo, he can come marching up whenever he finds us. <laughs> how high are? How high up uh, are we? Though? No. How does he like? No. From what Leo Lee has, nothing would be enough to dampen it, so he did not take max damage. Fair. All right. So yeah, he's yeah. He was a keyfish. Ha, 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 ha.
was, oh, this is going to be okay. So, I, I, uh, I just want to do this. I'm going to place a poll. I want to be placing a poll right now, and just to, you know, I just want to figure it out if the audience wants it. Uh, would you think? Yes. Uh, who, who do you vote for? For Amber to live on, <laughs> or for the whole party to fall? Yes. Live together, die alone. But enough of all that. Well, actually, one more thing. If you're new around here, we do have a bit of a drinking game with all of our streams around here. Uh, what I feel like we might be using a lot tonight if shit goes wrong. Uh, we have to drink every time there's healing. Every time yeah. the word shenanigans outside of the rules are said. Yep. We, we should drink to... a lot more last session. We, uh, we also have to drink <laughs> every time a player goes down. Yep. And if we have a TPK, we finish our drink. Yep. Along with that, we got two. We got some special rules. If an animal shows up at stream at all, Bella has to take a drink. If Leo here rolls a natural twenty, we all take a drink. Leo's respect. here for moral support. If Leo rolls a natural <laughs> one, which you know what? Yeah, they're not going to be doing that much rolling, so. <laughs> he was here for moral support. What's going to happen is he finishes his drink, and if I roll a natural 20, I finish my drink. But yeah, that's about all of it we got there, guys. Let us get started with this adventure. And we need <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everything in between, the wait is finally over. The Outcast Guild proudly brings to you Annie, Amber, Leely, and Captain Fuck the League of Misfits. Believe wild loss there. <laughs> All right. So, last we left off, Amber, your ship had gone under siege. Vok had been struck first as the crew had realized a small siege battalion had entered on. As the, as the fighting continued on, you tried to help out Vok by going into the captain's quarters. Seeing an unseen assassin, you then try helping along with the battle. Though a lot of your allies get injured, Vok along the way, dying in the captain's quarters. As you saw from the last words of Lieli of take care of Vok, as he ran outside, you heard the ship's navigational system, Navi, look towards you and say, the captain and first mate are down. You are the new acting captain. What is your order? As the poor choice is now being chased by a larger airship. One seemingly built for war itself. You can hear occasionally as blasts are firing off. They're getting close to the ship, but right now not hitting it. What are your orders, Captain Black Hat? Uh, my orders? Just full steam, keep going until we can get to safety. Find somewhere hidden. Like find find somewhere that will hide the ship. Just yeah, keep going full steam ahead. Uh, I'll grab. And also let let's grab the others and uh, yeah. All right. You see the rest of the crew starting to head up towards the captain's quarters, looking beaten and bruised. I need you to roll a ship handling check. A ship handling check. You do get advantage because of Navi. This is D20, and do you have proficiency with any vehicle? Or air vehicle? Um, no, I don't have proficiency. Right. So this is a D20. 
Okay. A d20 plus... Plus what? Is there like Nothing. a... But you said it's with advantage? It's with advantage because I'm not... Seventeen. Seventeen. You're pulling ahead. You still hear shots being fired. The can, their elders' cannons, firing off and detonating a bit too early. It feels the ship rocks every once in a while. To this. Okay, I'm gonna cast here once on both, uh, Narnbuck. Narnbuck. Okay. How much are you healing? Yeah. Um, I will give them each two things of first level cure wounds. So, this a D. So this is huh? an action of peak. That one. That'd be like one action to cast on. Okay, I'll, yeah, I'll give. Okay, I'll give, um, Buck 1d8 plus 4. First. Alright. Uh. Okay, that's six points for Buck. Alright, six points for Buck. Mm hmm. Um. Yeah. Can I still cast Cure Wounds on Nar too? So, this has been one turn. Okay. The ship's still behind you as it's still trailing behind. Are you wanting to try doing full steam uh, full steam again? Yes. Alright. Make it on the ship handling check, please. Is it still with advantage? Twelve. I'm here, getting more steam ahead, though you feel some ship shakes. This isn't from an explosion, it's from something inside. You hear inside Navi yell out, going, Get us rest of the engine, Captain! They're right behind us! You fail this, this chase. Okay, let's, uh... And, and the ship's engine has one stress to it. Okay. Um. I'll tell Navi to take you going full steam, though. Okay. Give me another ship handling check, please. Nat 20. All right. Nat 20. I see the engines... don't think that was successful in showing you that, but... The engines rear up once more. Navi's putting as much stress as she can on this. You see it. You can see behind through the window from the box room as the ships behind you still see the blast going through and Navi yells out going, Captain, I'm going to need someone at the steering helm. I'm not... And you see as she's fading faster and faster. We got safety ahead, but I need someone on there. I can't. I can't control. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm fades. gonna go on there. All right. You see, as Nar books it out, trying to get underneath the ship. You are now inside of an Eldritch storm. Navi cannot help you. As for the current moment, you see as Navi and Jonathan both are in. Navi has dissipated completely. Jonathan's in complete pain right now. You see the arcane flashing around him constantly. You even notice your magic items are having a weird effect here as the staff is like glowing and seemingly overheating itself. Um, give me an athletic check to see if you can get to the helm. Okay. Um. Eighteen. Eighteen. All right. Without Navi's assistance, the ship is rocking. It's being taken by the wind some, but you're able to get up there. I need a strength check. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is gonna go great. Ooh, As the 19. wheel is going completely out of the way, 
All right, this one here, you grab onto the wood, you're able to stop it, but steering is a problem. It's still fighting against you as the ship's trying to go every way it can. You hear the engines rev up again. You hear Nara down there going, um, shit's getting hot down here. Give me another uh, strength check. And what would you like to do? Anything you would like to er, see if I can get help from Nara Buck with the wheel. Nara's down at the engine right now. Okay. Uh... I'll keep trying to get the ship to All right. safety and also out of the storm. Give me another strength check, please. Uh, dirty 20. Alright. As you are barely at your small frame, barely able to keep the ship steady, you're able to, you're able to start steering it around. You see as lightning's being struck against the ship constantly sparks hitting the crimson wood parts of it starting to smoke a bit and you see bucks trying to douse out any behind there you look behind you see as the iron duke the ship that had been chasing you is no longer seen for a moment there you're trying to look and you see above what seems to be the eye of the storm i've already gone about 20 miles on this sucker this is going full steam all the way you pull above and you're now above the eldritch storm look down below as this current around there is torrenting around. You see the sparks of energy flashing. You're safe now. You see as Navi starts to emerge once more. Your ship, though, is at three points of stress. Okay. Your movement is now half. Okay. Um... Since we're safer now, I'll keep, like, I'll, uh, I'll keep the ship in this area for now, since we're, like, safe. Um, Kirwun's on NAR, too. Alright. Um. Uh, commanding NAR to get up as you go down to the engine room. Is Nars trying to cool off the engine as much as he can? I'm gonna help Nar cool off the engines and also like cat, uh, like yeah, right. yeah, heal Nar, heal Nar too. So, okay. oh, that is also a six. All right. Because for some reason this D8 wants to give me twos. I don't know why. Um. I'm just getting control once more as the storm above simply dissipates. You nearly escape the Iron Duke. And does. How is Jonathan looking, too? Jonathan's coming back as he's. You have noticed. You've been in one of these before. Seemingly anything that is magically based will have a strange reaction in these Eldritch Storms as the <laughs> weakening of the weave itself causes them to react oddly. Mm. It has been past a minute of Vox's death, however. Okay. Um... But I, okay, I I want to, I want to heal Jonathan too. Um. Okay, I want to cast Care Wounds for Jonathan too. Right. You said it's been um, past, it's past a minute, a minute though? The death. Okay, and that's eight points for Jonathan. Alright. Um, 
does Amber know how? Like, how are they looking now? Like, does Amber know? They're still looking or... mean and bruised. Okay. Um. See his gnar sort of shift back up. Buck is licking his wounds figuratively. Jonathan stands above there. They're looking at you, going. What? What do we do now? For now, just stay safe. Stay. Um. And I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds on Buck again, too. Alright. Um, that'll be 11 for Buck. Okay. Um, yeah, and then after I heal. Our sort of looks towards the rest of going. Cast is dead. As the person meets. Um, I'm gonna go over to Vok. Alright. Um, and I still have, or I have the staff of the All Mothers I can raise dead on. Buck. All right. So you're wanting to you're wanting to do a raise dead ritual. Okay. Yeah. Close your hand. <laughs> I do. I do want to do a raise dead <laughs> ritual. So um. <laughs> All right. So. Yeah. Amber, as you s present the body, setting it for the ritual itself. Hmm. How are you going to persuade the spirit to return? Okay. <laughs> um, I'm gonna call out to Vok. Um. Vok. Uh. Wait, so can Vok- okay. Above table real quick. So can Vok hear me as I'm saying this? Is that how this works? This ritual like... is you trying to persuade spirit. Vox spirit, or yeah, can can Vox spirit hear this? During this ritual, or is yes. it like okay? <laughs> uh, okay. Vox, I. I need you to come back, Vox. Come on, please. Please, Vok, I'm- I- 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 can't get- I can't give up on you. Vok. Please, just- just- just know you- you- you didn't fail as Vok at all. And- and- and I, I, I still, I, I still look up to you, and I, I need to, I, I still need to learn things. It's, it's, yeah. come on, Vok, y you have to come back, please. Um. I, 
I I can't I can't do this alone right now. I, I... <sighs> Fuck you! You're <sighs> you've believed in us. You've believed in me. All of us. <sighs> I I'm. <sighs> I'm not giving up on you, so, 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 you've, I've never seen you give, come on, just, please, come back, uh, yeah, and she's just, yeah, at this point, Amber's just trying to convince Vox Spirit to come back, um, me a persuasion check. Okay. Twenty one. All right. Okay. Thank you. Now, Fox. As you laying out by your tree, I think you're still muted. Hear the cries of Amber. See. Amber, you hear in your head. Sorry, go ahead. Paint the picture, and then I'll say my thing. Jesus, laying at your tree, saw as the poor choice made it safe. You ready to pass on to me? You hear the cries of Amber. See as one more image over your body, holding the staff, feeding freedom. What is your response? Amber, you say you need me. You say you still have stuff to learn. There's nothing more for me to teach you. You got the crew and the ship away from the storm. You got them to safety. That was you. I couldn't do that. You are becoming the leader you're meant to be, whether you are ready for it or not. And now it's your time to step up and be the captain and be the leader that you're meant to be. My time is done. It's my turn to rest. I think I've earned that. Pass along my word. Pass along my name. I know I'll never forget any of you. You'll all hold a special place in my heart as I sit here under my tree, forgiven by the All Mother for all of my congestions, and hopefully forgiven for all of you, by all of you. But it's my time to stay here. Amber. The spell fizzles as you hear the words of Bob. The as Muren, the All Mother emerges, standing right next to him. And as soon as he finishes, Paradise. Spell did not fail. Vox chose not to return. Okay. And, 
Okay, and we're safe and out of the storm now, too, right? You are currently above the Eldritch Storm. Okay. Um. Is there, like, some sort of map that I can see where we can go that's, like, safe and not towards where the other ship is? Like. You see as Navi. As once more, you walk into the, the captain's quarters. Navi address you, including you as captain. I assume fail. It it did, yeah. It failed. See what it looks like for a second. Even in her holographic body, it looks like tears fall. Quickly wipe them away. Okay, Captain. What's our next course of action? Let's. Let's find. Some are safe and away from. Where the other ship was chasing us, we, uh, we don't have to do full steam right now. I don't think we'll be seen by them. I don't think but, the engines could take another. Yeah, we okay. But yeah, let's just let's just go find somewhere safe. We can. I'll keep I'll uh, uh I'll keep healing the crew and help with with the ship with when needed, but yeah, I'd, I'd say let's find somewhere we where we can We need repairs. I'll chart I'll chart the course closest course to someone who can fix it. Okay. See as she the map merges, that holographic map she creates. The village of Ashlin could help us. Okay, and how far would it take to get there? At our current pace, three hours. We'll see okay. half elf in there on the edge of Forestine. Um, what are the other places we can go to? We could travel up to the portway areas, I be out of Forestine territory completely. And how long would it take to get there? Day and a half. And do you know which one would be like the safest? I don't know. What is your order, Captain? Let's. The only other choice we'd have would be Heiko for heading back to Tauvan, but we've already former Captain Claude and former First Mate Riali Desk have caused a commotion there. Um, uh, let's do the route that'll take about a day. 
Alright. I go up to this? Yeah. Because the ship, the ship doesn't have the same fur of the engine. You spend enough time on here, Gilmore had taught you how to be a boat. The engine sounds like it's in pain. The ship sounds like it's as if it's in pain. And for moments, you're not sure if it's because of the distress the engine was put on, or for the loss the ship has had. We could always try traveling back, but that would be almost a week to Gorbison Hall. Try traveling back to Warrington Hall too. We could. Okay. Um. And you may be able to repair it there as well. Do you think the ship can handle traveling a week too? As long as we don't run into any more encounters like that. I'm sorry, Captain. I failed. I you didn't you didn't fail I didn't us. Sense the ship approaching. No, you didn't it fail us. For me to, to happen. I apologize, Captain. Let, let's go let's take the route that'll take a day. Let's repair the ship. Um, don't worry, Nova, you didn't, you didn't fail us. Alright. Ship sets course once more. Anything you would like to do in this day? Um, I'd like to cast Care Wounds on Nar and, uh, and Nar and Jonathan again. As the day passes, you into the night. You can hear a faint singing noise coming from Navi. It's strange. Elvish heard it before. Julian. You remember a couple times of seeing Navi hanging around Bach while getting the Zulian lesson. I think that she's trying to continue it on. I'm gonna find or I'm gonna ask Navi what she's saying in Zulian. It looks at you and going, I'm sorry, Captain, I think it's worse. No, it's okay, you don't. Uh, it's okay, I just, what, what were you saying? I, I heard, I heard the first mate yell a few times. And that was all. Mother. And 
keep singing it, you know? It's okay. How are you feeling? As you see Jonathan um, sitting next to you. Upset. Don't be. What about you, you did what your best you? you could. How are you doing? Rusty. But still alive, as usual. Look, I may not be the best of consorting anyone uh, besides, uh, you know, who. Uh, well. What can I say? I... Vark has been a great warrior. And Leele, kind of naive child who still brings some good parts of his, well, youth. I mean, well, I guess the one thing that I'm trying to state is that you're not, you're not alone. There's people, friends that could help you, but you on your own can do so much greater. It's not bad uh, asking for help or trying for, you know, get into hard situations, but that's part of life. Thank you, Jonathan. Now, uh, I should better be going, and I'll go ahead and prep the body for a proper funeral for Vak. Yeah, well, let me come help you. Insight check? Yes, please. Uh, twenty... Twenty-five. Okay. They're strange. You look at them for a moment and... The lifeless exterior... The emotionless faces. But something stands out towards you. The way the bodies are built. The way that the skulls are formed and the eyes themselves. They look similar to Guardian. Not as complex. Not as 
structurally sound and the different things you saw him do. These look to be more... simplified versions of him. Though, unlike something like Jonathan or the other Forge classes you've seen, these ones do stand out. Hardier exoshell, hardier metallic pleating around the sides. And just see, the bodies are similar to Guardian. Like, there's... There's about just 20 of them right out on this deck. Just on the deck? Well, Nar has sort of taken them and put them on top of the deck, asking you, what should I do with these captains? As you sort of look at them, inspecting them, He's... Where did Nar find them again? Where did you say he found them? Did you say where these he were them? the ones infiltrating the ship, the ones that him, the ones that you saw down below? You saw them for a moment when you were trying to get up towards Vok. The ones that Lily fought, Nar, Buck, everyone downstairs. Do, are there more parts besides the bodies? Like, are there heads, too, and everything? There's 20 different bodies, all in different states of destruction. Like, is there a way we can, like, rebuild them? <laughs> like, I don't want to rebuild them. You see, <laughs> is... Are you visibly trying to do that, Amber? Uh... Is there a way we can? Sort of see as Jonathan looks at them and goes, hmm. It's always sad to see them in these states. Is there a way we can fix them? Why would you want to? Uh, let's just say, be um, we had one similar to looking to these ones in in our group. Not sure where they are now, but... Zizi well, sort of looks at them. Fighting them last night. Or yesterday. They're not your friends. These... How do I say this? The possibility, as my kind call, as my kind likes to call them, they are not fully awoken, built for a purpose, but never gaining their sentence. Sad to see them in the states, but it's also sad to see them forced. Okay. Um. I don't remember him first time we met. You do? But I remember seeing him in that town. The metallic being you traveled with? Yeah. Was he awoken? Yeah, he was. 
He was. I wish I could tell you it would be as simple as a ritual. Though none of my kind truly know what happens when we pass. If we have a spirit to return or if we're just programming. We've changed beyond our initial fates. But we're still unsure of what we are. But I'm sure, your friend, we will find. I hope so. Um... Amber is gonna go over to Locke's body and, uh, t like take some of the stuff off, place and it somewhere safe. As you and Jonathan had sort of prepared the body for a funeral, you saw Jonathan take everything of Vox's belongings and put it in the captain's quarters. Okay. He sort of walks up to you and I don't know if he has. A family, or had a family. Well, whoever this may go to, all this belongs. Thank you. Let's keep them in the headquarters for now. Alright. Uh, very well, Capitan. So, the day travels on, and you can see now cities starting to emerge, Poor Choice Engine still crying. As you see Navi mentioning to you, going, um, Captain, you're going to need to take controls. Okay, I'll take... I'll take controls. You see as the ship goes in for dock, and this one here is not an air dock. This is in the sea. As it's put down, you hear as parts of the ship change to adapt to now the aquatic terrain it travels on. Bringing you directly into, as you are going into this port, I need you to roll me a ship handling check. So it's a D20. Okay. Is it with advantage or not with advantage? I believe you can spend advantage. Someone gave it to you. Oh, I'll spend advantage then. Uh, with advantage, that is a 16. Okay. 16, it's a close call as you're just going through. But you're able to dock the ship properly. Sort of amazed at box skill, or if it was just Navi. <laughs> um. And once the ship is like fully docked, we're gonna. You guys have gotten a long rest in too, or could have had, could have gotten a long rest unless Amber decided to stay awake. Oh, um... <laughs> yeah, I don't think Amber decided to stay awake. Cause, so we do get a long rest, though? Yes. Okay. Now remember to regain your charges. Okay. Alright. So... You have made it into the Thordaway city. 
Uh, I just had it written down. Heigl. Blank has been put down for you to get off the ship. You see as a few... A few of the managers of the dock sort of look at you. Are you the captain of this vessel? Yes, I am. Captain Very Blackhide. Very well, Captain Blackhide. Uh, how long will you be staying with us? Uh, not sure. Just until we can get our ship repaired. We need we need to repair it. Very well. So, yeah. We can have some of our crew look at it if you would. Francis, and you see as like a warforged with massive forearms, not biceps, just the forearm. <laughs> Runs up and goes, "Yeah, can you work on the ship? Uh, they need repairs done on the ship." Um, yeah, sure. We'll, after we'll inspect your ship for you. Is that all right, Captain Blackhead? That's all right. And we'll have you a bill afterwards. Also, docking fees are 10 gold a day. <laughs> okay, wait. Hold on. Let me let me see if Martin and Buck have money. <laughs> I'm kind of out of money. <laughs> That's just a bit of a problem. It's just a slight <laughs> bit of a problem. Um, <laughs> you see as Jonathan sort of steps off the plank. Um, let's just, just say for five days right now, handing 50 gold to him and hands you a thirteen a gold pouch of 1,350 gold. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I believe the captain would have wanted you to take care of the ship. Close fun. Thank you. And you might be... I'm just a regular crewmate here, uh, Jonathan. Very well. Anything else we must know? Um, yes. The first mate here, or former first mate here, we do have a deceased member, our former captain. Uh, Sky Raiders, the tavern. Unfortunately, they had fallen. Please be careful of the party, it is in the captain's quarters. Very well, and I'm sorry about that. So we give reports in? Um, not yet. We need to bring him back to his home. Very well. Have a good time, Captain. Thank and you. And sort of walks back onto the ship. Let, and, uh, I'm gonna let Buck and Narno to come to um, Probably find somewhere to stay. I don't know how long they said it would take, so. As you sort of go, like, Vok, I don't. Oh. Um, so. With that being said, you have made it to High Gulch. Wandering back out into the city. Looking for whatever help you may need. Why don't we take a little bit of a break? Okay. How we doing? <laughs> Why? <laughs> you are doing great, Bob. And Bob, <laughs> just so you know, there was only one thing you could have said that could have convinced me to come back. What? I had decided that after I, like, the day, the day I died. And that was convincing me to come back to help save Doma. Other than that, I was staying there. 
you what you said was great. And any other time, I probably would have. And even if I did come back, I would have talked to Geeks and I would have been temporary. Like after that, make sure. Was...
next to the player that made Rock is very much dead. So she just walked into there was dumpster fire. Now it's explosion. Hi, right, welcome back, everyone. And on that note. <laughs> All right. So, Amber. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. You have just stepped off the ship. You had the city of High Gulch. You see, as the town looks very hustle and bustle at the current moment, you've caught it during like probably the peak of everything here. Most of the denizens around here are gnomish. Okay. Along with a mixture of halflings in here. So, you're probably one of the taller people around, on average. Really? You're a medium creature. Oh. <laughs> They're small. <laughs> Do the math. All right. <laughs> you see as town's going crazy. What would you like to do? Um. I'll use my guild badge to call someone from my guild. Who are you wanting to call? Um. <laughs> I'll call Tempest. Uh, okay. So I press the guild badge. All right. Tempest. Vox dead. Le Lily's dead. Right. We need help over here. And I send him the location too. I'll I'll give him the coordinates. All right. As you do. I know, lass. Sorry about your loss. Talk to Johnny. Over at the Broken Soul. They can help. The end of it. Can I do it again, or is that the only it's thing once I get? per day? It... You can send a message <laughs> out, and it comes back towards you. Okay. Um. Cool. I will go to. Uh, I'll go to where he said the broken stool and find Johnny. Um, Jorney. Oh, Jorney. Yes. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I'll I'll go find uh. I'll find Dorney. Right. Clicking your badge, you can see a sort of a small, a small mini map of the city, and you're able mm -hmm. to follow it. You can see is mm -hmm. this here? Primarily, just looks like a bar, some hole in the wall bar. You probably see Vok hanging around. <laughs> you see for a moment as. Hey, would you like to introduce yourself? As you have just kicked one of the drunken denizens who's been acting out of hand out of the bar. Hey, they started! It wasn't my fault! <laughs> well, you better get your hands off me before I break those fingers. One by one. Slowly. Hi. <laughs> hey. Going down the street to another bar. They appreciate me there. Uh, <laughs> who, are, who are you? I, I'm Amber. The, 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 um, 
I assume Buck and Nar came with me. They say to the ship, and it's okay, Buck and well. Nar. If Vox walking, I'd be oh, shocked because Jonathan <laughs> did ceremony Buck. on them. I said Buck. Something Sorry, went I mean... wrong. Run. <laughs> Zombie <I> Vox. <laughs> Savo has Anyways. brought him back. Okay, so Buck and Nar. You thought he was angry before. <laughs> You've never seen him hangry, then. Did, wait, so did did Jonathan come with you, then? No, Jonathan is still at the ship. They're all still at the ship right now. Okay, got it. Cool. Um. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah. I. Uh, um. I'm Amber. Uh, captain of our ship back there, Captain Blackhide of the ship back there. Your name? Um, they kind of glance at Amber. So you're a captain of a ship. Hmm. Yeah, it just happened. We're we we lost our first mate and previous captain. So, yeah. Oh, my apologies. Also, just for reference, what does your character look like? Like, small, tall? Glad like, what, you asked. What does your character look like? So, you see this humanoid, pointy ears. Okay. Very pale complexion. Has a very long hair and a very strange adornment on their heads. Just a swirled horn. Dressed all in purple and black. And you I see them as colors. they carry a folded out umbrella. It like their clothing is reminiscent of the European Gothic era. That's so cool. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> as a player, I'm just loving this. <laughs> Uh, kind of goes for the bar. Oh, please. Whiskey. You see this journey, that small gnome that's been running the place. Dude dude looks to be about five feet tall, though three feet of him is just the crazy hair he has. <laughs> um. As he's just like, put steps on, you see behind the bar, there's a little stepping stool. Like, sort of a little rail he can walk on. Like, eh, yeah. thank you for getting rid of that one. Okay. Much oh, blush. Oh, it's great to have you. There goes for okay. the sip. Yes. Well, it's been a long time. Dealing with circumstances way beyond my understanding as to comes from my family. I don't want to mention it. Okay. Um. Okay, it's... so do I know that's Jordan yet, or did I just hear you say what he looks he, like? You've seen the bartender there. You assume this is probably Jordan. Okay. As you can see on, like, it wears these overalls, and you know how every like Applebee's got Applebee's employee has to have like the lanyard with all the buttons on and stuff. Yeah. You see, as he has like a couple different souvenirs, and one of them prominent is the guild bag. Okay. Um. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask Leo's character if I can suck Jordy. Um. Hey. Is there a chance I could talk to Jordy real quick? Like, um. Yeah, just. So, and just kind of, kind of, they kind of point at the bar. I don't know. Can you talk to Jordy? <laughs> Johnny, can he talk to you? Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me check my notes. See, Jordy <laughs> starts pulling this whole prank, like pull a book. I think you're free to talk. You got about ten minutes. What's up? Come on. Okay. Okay, I'll come talk to Jordy then. Uh. Hi. If you didn't know, I'm Jordy. Hi. Hi, Jordy. I'm. <laughs> 
<laughs> I remember. Don't worry, I'll, I'm not an asshole just to you. I'm an asshole to everyone. Okay. You can ask anyone around here. Okay. That's Guys, true. is he an asshole? No, okay. <laughs> uh, uh. So, Jordan, I was told by Tempest that I could talk to you. Kind of in a little situation here, but. <laughs> Like you yeah, see him like sort of leap over just... the guild and leap leap over the bar a bit and like back row. Come on, come on. Okay. He's like on the bar, looks over, like takes an empty uh, cast and chucks it towards this poor human kid. Peggy, off your break. Get up and get cloaking. Come on, they need drinks. I'm gonna be in the back. Nice meeting, you, Amber. <laughs> Listen to you. As okay. he sort of leads you into, he leads you into the back office area. Hmm. He has this chair as has it jacked up as high as it can be, so you can see seen over it. Still only hmm. coming up to about here at this table. He has a fairly short corn nose. Okay. So Tempest. Is. Yes. Yeah, I talked to Tempest earlier. He said to come talk to you. Kind of had a situation earlier. We were in a huge fight. What kind of situation? Are we needing to hide some body situation? Or we got some materials uh, we, we need to get off a of hand situation? We, we lost our captain and our, our previous captain and our first mate. So, as oh. of now, I'm so captain now. Lost the party, um, needing repairs, possibly a way to get to the guild so we can, like, reconvene, try to figure out what to do from here or right now. Like, yeah, just kind of all of that. <laughs> I mean, God, I can get you the guild here and here. We got some members around here. You met one, Faye? Uh, that could probably help you out if you need some... Like, what What are you looking for in this party? Anything, I picky? Mean, I'm, I'm not picky as long as I can... As long as I can trust them, I'm not too picky. Face seems cool. Okay. Uh, yep. Hold on, let me see your badge real fast. I'll show, I show him the badge. Like, he looks at the front, flips it over. Okay. Yep. You're good, you're copper ink, so you can go in there. Uh, I know a few others we can get you hold of if you need them. Uh, Paris? No, 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 that's that, 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 that one guy on the film. Uh, no, Ron, he's weird traveling around. Fatty Arbuckle. No, no, not Fatty Arbuckle. Something Jones. Something. I don't, like sort of gestured out going, doesn't really talk that much, but if you need someone to actually help out a bit, you can go talk to him. And he like sort of gestures sort of east and going, there's a farm somewhere out there. You can go check that out. If you need a party member there, Faye can help you out here. Uh, but yep, yep. As he goes up to the door, and mm -hmm. you know the door from Corlon, Corline? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he opens up this door and going, you're going to have to crawl through here. Sorry about that. The door's made for me. And he walks through it just normally, his hair just gliding <laughs> across the top of the frame. And that's when he gets to the guild? Or what? Are you going through the door? Um. Yeah, I am going to this. Sure. <laughs> right. I just moment of curiosity sees his, his hair pops out once more. Are you coming or not? <laughs> I don't have all I, day. I, I should be drinking at this time. I go through the door. How? How? Do? Uh, can I fit in there too? You can fit in there. It's just sort of like, like you gotta go oh. on your hands and knees and crawl through it like that scene there. <laughs> and then you realize, for you, Amber, for the first time, you see yourself on this single island. Out in what looks like an astral sea of sorts. Cosmic bodies moving through the air in a distance, looking almost like shooting stars. 
Hmm. You see in the front, there's a couple other people around. Uh, some people out and about. There's one guy who has like what looks like a spit roast he's hooked up with parts of a spider. Face mm -hmm. completely wrapped. As you keep walking through, you see a couple of the Kobe's run out as they got a paper going, Look, I just need to get paid. I gotta pay off this fucking bookie. Mm. Barbarian you guys again. Kobe what, which Kobe's? Guys. You see Barbarian <laughs> Kobe at the very least, and then following him looks like Paladin Kobe and uh, Ranger Kobe? <laughs> you guys are gonna stay out of trouble. Fuck off! No. <laughs> no, I won't fuck off. <laughs> give them... I give them what's called the middle finger. I don't know how to do the middle finger in the guild, but I give them that. <laughs> what do you mean this? Yeah. What do you mean Do this? they just do... I don't know. Which one do the do guild members do? Like, which version? There's so many ways of flipping someone off. Whichever version that the Kobe's would know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you see, as he uh, leads you towards the main entrance of the guild, going, "The first time here." Yeah, I think this is my first time here. Oh, have fun with that. Like, sort of nudge, opens up the door for you. Oh. Okay. You see, as you walk into this oak building, the little wraparound porch around this, around it completely. You step in, mm -hmm. and you see looks to be, on the outside it looks to be about three stories tall, but you look on the inside it keeps expanding outward. It's you bigger see... on the inside? Drink. <laughs> You're welcome. That's what she said. <laughs> Alright. You can see as some guild members you have seen before, some that you haven't moving about their day, some are having food. You know, some of the Kobe's uh, running around serving food. As you sort of led up to the counter itself, you see that strange human one more time. Don't think you caught his name, but you met him back in Stone Hall when they're asking for help. About getting that book. Oh. Mm, you are part of Vox Crew, correct? Yeah, but stuff I'm happened. Sorry. You heard? We all heard. Would you like a drink? The same yes. sickly green glowing eyes looking at you. Yes, please. Something to forget or something for taste? Something for taste. How old are you? I have to check the character sheet. Give me one second. Because <laughs> I totally have the... Oh, 25. Okay. Goes over. Makes you a little, like, apple teeny drink. Hmm. Oh, no. Sorry about your... Thank you. Thank you. You see as what looks like Riley and Armkara, how you saw them before, who are sort of chasing what looks to be like a 10-year-old tiefling in this like a lab coat that's too big for them. <laughs> One horn's broken. <laughs> Riley, stop messing with your cousin Bang. Why don't you play something you all can agree with? See, Tempest sort of <laughs> called out from behind the bar. Oi. Hi, hey, Tempest. How you doing, Alas? Sorry. Like, sort of goes up to you. Well, gives you a hug. I'm sorry for your loss. I miss them. They would be missed. So, what brings you here? Fun. Um, let's just say what we need we need help and we need 
let's see. You know, considering we just lost, we lost the or Lee, Lee, we lost Vok. I'm captain now. We need party members. We need, we need to figure out where to go next, or should we reconvene here till we figure out what our next stop is? Uh, that last is completely up to you. If you need party members, we can put a post in out. A little bit of a reward. Does that hurt anything? We can help you get a group. And what about Faye? Do you think. I met Faye yeah. earlier. Oh, Faye. She's part of uh, Johnny's little outfits. Yeah. If you want her, we can get in contact. Or them, sorry. Yeah, let's... Let's get in contact with them. Or I can ask. If, but yeah, we need someone else too. Put the post and I'll see what anyone would take. Okay. And also, I see there's a third child. What will happen with the... What will happen to... What's up, what's up with the bank? Well... About a week ago... Um, he woke up. Couldn't move at all. And he was 15. Then, days ago, he was helping out some of his friends, and they got attacked. And when the time that uh, after everything was said and done, he was ten. That's that's a lot for him. So he lost his hair twice so far. <laughs> um, Well, luckily, the room that he did accidentally paint bomb was going to be painted anyway. Okay. Anything else? Uh, but we can get a post and put up for you last. I mean, I think besides getting a party together, figuring out what to do, and also getting the ship repaired, which we have people doing right now, but other than that, I think that's it. Okay. So. What's your next step from here, Lass? Good question. I have yet to figure that out. Uh... Then, let's go to the leader now. Yeah. I mean, I guess we still have to figure out who had attacked Who's behind the... Who, who was behind the attacks and... The man in white, I guess? Yeah, but... Do you know anything about that? I don't think we can try seeing if anyone does around here. And that's gonna cost you. I'm sorry, I wish I could tell you so quickly. But just around here, information... Still. Of the funds they can. How much is it gonna cost? I'll ask around and we'll see. That's usually based on each person. Okay. 
you sort of hear, as soon as you say, okay, a rumbling noise. Something would move. Then I sort of get up for a single. I'm sorry, Wes, I'll be alright. I gotta go check on something. Okay. Go, go check on that. Need time to think. You always told Guardians God felt my back. Okay. Would it be best if we bring the rest if I bring the rest of the crew here too? We have Jonathan in Nar right now. Right now. Say no, he's going through a lot of stuff. Many other time. Okay. Alright. Also, Tempest. Hey, Ross. Um. Some of the. Some of the things that, uh. That uh, Buck and Nar were fighting. They they were warforged. They were they were warforges that looked like Guardian. I think he found about te uh, ten was the number I want to say. And when we were back in Iron Hull. Or close by there. We saw a blueprint of that. Amber. You've seen Tempest many times, usually keeping that cool demeanor about him. Hmm. He looked stressed as soon as he heard the wood. And when you mentioned the garden, he's Did, running. Do you wanna, he's literally do you... running up the stairs. I'm gonna follow Tempest. If you do, be an office. Door's not door like door has not been shut, it's left the jar open. You imagine he slammed this thing open. And all you hear is Bloody hell! A dagger flies across the room. Just sort of out of anger. Not towards you, but just sort of across the room. What what is it? Walking in. Yeah. He is. As soon as you say that, he starts to straighten himself up. You see this box of keys. Like, sort of a. You know, old hotels where they have the keys hanging up? Mm -hmm. He has those, and it looks like his hand sort of moves fast, sort of looking towards you. Oh, sorry, a lot. Um, a lot of things are going on right now. And, um, just. Oh, stress around here. What's going on? Do you know anything about the Warforges and that plan and about who attacked us? How much do you know? Do you want to see the Warforged pieces out on the ship, or should I bring them here, or would that be? Take Bang with your face, I don't. Take just Bang with like, us? Just take, have Bang look at him something. He's just uh, going to be like a moment, please. Okay. He looks visibly distressed. As you kept seeing his hand, sort of being one of his hands, left hand being held behind his back. Tempest, are you okay? I'm fine, Ross. We're 
Yeah, that pulls the body of me. Not for this. Are you sure you're okay? No, I'm fine. What's going on? Just a lot. Okay. Insight check on me. Okay. That would be a twenty three for insight. Let me perception check too, please. Okay. The uh, twelve. All right. So, when you walked in, or thinking about that, you noticed something. She, the key had a tag with a G on it, and it looks like how he held it behind his back. Your insight check. You can tell something deeply bothering Tempest. Just trying to play it off cool. Every time you've mentioned those four forges that look like guardians, it seems like each time he's gotten a bit more defensive. Like trying to hurry you off. Tempest? Yes, Lara. I can tell something big is bugging you. Are you sure you don't want to talk about it? Roll persuasion. Oh. Eight. <laughs> Eight. So we'll see how that goes. Thank you. worry about yourself. I think he goes in for a big hug. Okay. Just keep yourself safe out there. Promise me. Yeah, <laughs> I want to try something real quick. Sleight of hand, I want to see the key that he has. <laughs> Alright, we'll sleight of hand. This is gonna, this is gonna go so <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Twelve. We'll see. How this goes. I just want to try. I just want to see the key. Wait. What? What the fuck is Liam doing? She has advantage. Oh yeah, you have advantage. Oh, for the whole game? No, you spend it. No, just one. Just just once because someone called for advantage. Oh wait, I thought you already spent it though. Oh, two. I have two. Okay. I can full advantage on this. Oh, that was not good. So, yeah, the 12 was the higher one. <laughs> so, what? So, you got a 12? Yeah. How well, high or low? No. Highs or lows? I'm go high. All right. As you try, like, so, because I know what you're trying to do here. You're trying to take the key, or are you trying to just see what the key is? See what the key is, and we'll okay, take so this... it, see what it is, and then, yeah. All right, if you want to see what it is, or try getting a glimpse at it as he's hugging you, you can roll perception. Okay, 
It could be. Well, I mean, just kind of take it, see what it is, and then <laughs> get it, and then leave it. All right. All that you see, what it looks like on this tag, I'm not able to grab. Nemesis is moving a bit fast. What looks like a raven on the edge. Okay. Does it look like the same raven that Guardian had? Yes. Like, is it? Okay. Um, you do sort of glance with this. You remember when you obtained when you obtained that coin, that fragment of memory. For some reason, your mind flashes back to that. Right, last full smell. Okay. Sure, um, I think you really make you can take that or you can go with uh, Ilian uh, McTavish. Okay. And she can help you get some of them. I have some stuff I can do in Sahi. Um, oh, yes. Uh, okay. That's like he pulls out a paper and starts writing down on it. I need you to sign here. The request of members. Okay, I sign on it. As soon as you do, you see the paper roll up itself, vanish for a moment. You're a small chime of a bell. All right, so then post it all the out on all the bulletins. Thank you. Hey, back to the broken stool. You now see hear that same bell on the bulletin. A request for help, or a request for party. Faye uh, takes the request, looks at it, goes to the goes to the desk. All right. I heard that there's a request needed. Dorni mm -hmm. sort of looks at it. Oi, hey. Yes, I'm not going to talk to earlier. Oh, it is. Poor little Amber. Well, also, go for a help. All right. As you sort of sign the contract, Amber, mm -hmm. you see a little, just in a sort of weird paper pops in your hand. And it shows all those who have agreed for it. Faye. And right now, just Faye. Okay. Um. Before I leave, I take Fang with me to examine the Warforges, too. Yeah. To examine the Warforges. Alright. As you take the now 10 year old Tiefling. <laughs> 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 how's, how's, how you doing, Bing? Uh, um. Alright. Yeah, we are a little small since the last time I seen since the last time I saw you. What happened between then and <laughs> between now and then? You don't have to be an asshole. Why not? I'm just asking. What just happened? Keep walking. What happened? <laughs> you don't have to be a jerk, okay? okay. I know you guys don't like me. You no, don't we have like to be you. Mean. It's okay. We like you. It's okay, Bing. Keep walking. <laughs> Did the potion goes back? He like puts his 
hat puts on this hat. You, he looks like now... He just looks like a small kid. But like, looking like a human kid now. As he's like walking with you, I'm like, well, what did you guys find? Or for just they looked like guardian. Okay. As he like sort of makes it to the ship itself. Um. Oh. And he looks like directly at these. Bots, on, like I don't know. You guys keep them on the deck, or do you, when you dock, put them away? Uh, put uh, I think we uh put them away, but just or actually, I did not say. Actually, I did not say, but oh, I'll go. <laughs> I'll go with uh, we put them away, and if the if the people fixing the ship found them at all, then told them not to mess with those. Okay. And I'll go show Tempest where we put them. Dang, it was like... He looked... Sort of looked at him real... Sort of starts looking at him going... Uh-huh. Uh... Uh... What's up, Bang? Do you recognize any of these? Do you know anything about them? As soon as, like, starts going down, like, opens up the... It sort of removes the chest plate on a couple of them and starts examining them. Core here's uh, fairly damaged there. Um, okay. Uh, no, no. Uh, and like, he's starting to pull out these notes. He's barely, like, sort of gone full on. Let me just examine this. As he's just going on, like, full on, taking parts off of here, looking there, looking here. And finally, uh, how, uh, how'd you find these? You were finding them. They were in our ship. They're older forge class tunnels, probably during the Great War area. And, um,. Seem to be guardian models themselves, but uh, yeah, um, I mean, were they? Uh, so, what they were, uh, sky uh, storm raiders, or as like he still looked at them going, like, wait, no, no, I think why did it. Um, we, uh, what do you want to do with them? I'm, I'm not sure. Do you want to take? Do you want to take them or? Yeah, don't. I was gonna put them in s storage, but if if you want to use them, take them. You can. He still just sort of looks nervous at them. Uh, they're, they're new. Yeah, they're new. Um, yeah. Um, uh, I can take them if you want. Yeah. I'll help you bring them back. I mean, I can, uh... He's like, he's still. Just... Bang's usually nervous around you guys. Mm -hmm. Though this time he looks extra like nervous. Bang, you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I am. What's... Everything's fine. What's wrong? 
I'm fine. What do you mean? You seem very nervous. service. It's okay. Um, uh, how, how much would you like for all these parts here? Mm. I mean... I mean, I'm not looking for anything for the parts. As Fang sort of reaches into his bag and pulls out, well, like you see, as he takes off his uh, cosmic uh, cosmic rider Leo backpack and reaches in, I, I have uh, fifteen thousand enough. Yeah, that's plenty. I think I can get something else in, in here as no, he like sort of dives into okay. his bag some. Uh, I got some spell scroll. I got uh, I got spell scrolls. I got uh, I got potions. Okay, I'll take s some of the stuff, whatever you want to give. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, I have a lot of materials and um, thing you can dispose of, and yeah, I can, I I can do that. I can, I can get rid of some. Yeah, we can, uh, hold on. It's like, his head back in the bag. Here, here, take this. And like, sort of just hand you another coin bag. Okay. Uh, hey Frank, get the stocks, please. I'm okay, buddy. Like, starts walking up the stairs real I'm fast. gonna help Bing carry the stuff. Alright, Bing can get it. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, yeah. We, we can get it. We can. We, we can. See, as that large, a large automaton starts walking towards there and going, like, he lifts up the hatch, right? The storage. It's like, things moving this stuff across. I think you have someone out front. I want to get to him. Okay. All right. As that keeps going on. Um, you walk out and you see Faye sort of sitting by the... <laughs> <laughs> like, does Faye have sunglasses on too? Leo, take it over. Ah, uh, my little tree resin. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I, I, re I remember you. You were over there. So I heard. Yes, I mean, party members. Ah, yes, we did talk to the bar. The broken stool. Jorney is a very nice guy, once you get to know him. Yeah, he's pretty funny. So, I just got your little um, help request, and I was wondering where we shall start. Um, we can start by I'll show you the I'll show you in the ship and I'll introduce you to the people currently here too. You go first. Since after all you are the captain. Okay. <laughs> I 
I give Faye a tour around the ship. And... Um... Yeah, so I'll show him, like, the deck. The captain's headquarters. And I'll go down and show him Lee Lee and the rest of the rooms as well. Like, like, yeah, so I'll show him Lee Lee's room. That was... This room was... Where the first meet stayed. We got this room. I'll show him where Pandora and Annex room were to um mention that Pandora and Anik are kind of well Anik is poofed somewhere in the Fey. <laughs> I don't know. Oh uh, yeah. Poofed um, somewhere in the Fey. Yeah, he does that. He kinda just like pops in and out randomly at times. Like he, he can go into the Fey and back. We don't really know where he is. He's he's lost somewhere in the Fey. Hopefully he finds us though. And then they got well, Pandora one can never hope. Here. And then this is where I have. This is where I stayed. And yeah, and then we have a room with for the pets and storage. And yeah, and I also show them the engine room, everything else. Yeah. Wait, you heard? You said pet storage. I said, this is her pet storage. Like, I showed him all that. I showed him Inst where, and where Instantly, at just hearing two words, pet storage, Bay goes, is <laughs> that where you keep all your dead pets? <laughs> no. They're all alive. Then why do you call it a storage? There's storage, pets, your... Storage here. <laughs> oh. As you can tell, I'm great at giving tours. Not <laughs> 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 a thud as the dead lock rolls over once more. <laughs> 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 Where'd Vaka? Oh, he you rolled off see, the ship. You see the, the mummified body leaning up against the wall and storage just kind of goes poof and falls over. <laughs> so, this is all the uh, tour of your fabulous ship? Yeah. I also showed you the engine. Well, this is quite impressive. I so yeah, feel I've never thought of hmm? which room you'd want to stay into. Room? I mean, I really want to respect the dead. I don't know which one would you go for. Saying Pandora's or Annex room. Two. We don't. We don't know when they're coming back. So at this point, you can say one of their rooms. Well, you're the captain. I. I'm just merely following the rules. <laughs> Take Pandora's room, and I'll show where Pandora's room is. All right. Bring her inside Pandora's room. Um, the room looks very untouched from the first time it was there, or first time it was used. So it's filled with <laughs> spider webs all around, it's just there, everything. Yeah, it's like spider webs, a uh, little bit of dust. It's like. Amber, you didn't know Pandora that much, but you get a feeling this person did not, like, pack everything they had was in a bag so they can easily get out. <laughs> like, Makes sense. And then when uh, you looked at Annex, Annex had been vacated because you remember he stayed in the crow's nest for a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, this looks homey. 
-hmm. What a very set of decorations. I love that spider web. <laughs> yeah, clearly, cl clearly we haven't had uh, Pandora in there for a while, so. Yeah. Or anyone, well, for that matter, in a while in this specific room. Well, this is, uh, quite enjoyable. Um, well, anyway, I'm just going to leave my stuff in here, and we can get started on our first mission together. Sounds good. Great. Yeah. When you looked at the pet storage room, you also saw the two giant <laughs> riding lizards. Pet storage cannon. <laughs> yes, pet storage. <laughs> <laughs> it is cannon now. It is cannon now. <laughs> so, uh, my little Captain Tree Resin. Oh, why I... did you call me Tree Risen? Just out of curiosity. Where did you get that? Well, from your name, Amber. You are a fossilized tree resin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you would ever start to the name. Am I not correct? <laughs> You're not wrong. Where do you get that? Where, 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 where do you get that? How do you know that? Like, how, how is that just like common knowledge? Okay, and does this just common character knowledge, or where did where did you know that? Like, <laughs> where are you from? Now I want to know. Like, <laughs> oh, now you asking questions. Now you asking the question. <laughs> well, if you want to get started to know my acquaintance, I am from a noble family. Uh, well, I am used to going outside or in my room same for a lot I don't do much of the exploring until I've discovered well not discovered more like joined a very new family and it's the guild journey was the first guy I've ever met who have been so kind to me and to leaving me with this sort of sort of a misfits kind of group and I find it quite interesting uh, as you may sort of know from my attire I now do adventuring I am not usually alone but when I do go I go for these small little quests here and there and I'll, of course I have to do my own can I say like a rite of passage nice nice that that is that's a lot but it is quite a lot to... <laughs> even even my family's allowance it is quite a lot <laughs> Even though I don't touch my family's allowance. Which, again, it is quite a lot. Welcome to the party, though. Um, and then... Yeah, I find Buck and Nar and introduce Buck and Nar to Faye. All right. See as Buck, the armless spider, and Nar, the one that looks like he has the hand of doom, like bolted into both his hands. Okay. Oh, Buck, Nar, this is Faye, Faye, Buck, Nar. Right. Well, nice to meet you, Buck. Nice to meet you, Nar. Buck just heard Nar. Nods. Nora's like, hi. And I find Jonathan and tell Jonathan that introduce Jonathan too. Alright. As you have been introduced to the crew so far, you being now the fifth member of the crew, 
Level six, counting Navi. Oh yeah. I'll, I'll bring Navi here too. Navi, come meet this new member. <laughs> Hello. Are you going to be a new member of the ship? Navi is Navi space, space, as like Navi. the uh, the small holographic projection you see. <laughs> oh, what a cute little holographic creature! <laughs> Hi there. Hello. Ship's navigational system, Navi. And she sort of just gives a wrist review, going, All right, thank you. I need a scan to make sure that you would not trigger off any alarms. And oh, and mine must say, I love the attire. Thank you. Likewise for you. Also, may I know your pronouns? Oh, my pronouns are they, them. Oh, and I forgot to mention one part. As Faye completely shifts into Amber. How did... Did we see that happen? You saw that yeah. happen. I, it's not hidden, right? It's just sort of like the whole... It's not hidden, it's just... Sh completely shows off. <laughs> you look like me, and I don't like that transform into something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let me change, please. And completely changes to, uh... Let's go for Buck. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna know what Buck's reaction is. <laughs> like, just sort of like a weirdo. Is Buck gonna write on... So you can change, the, so you like, you can change appearances? Just like this? That, you can do that? That, that's cool. I like that. And completely changes back to Faye. Yes, I am a changeling. That is one of my, uh, certain quirks. Cool. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you settle in for now, and I'll go back up to the captain's headquarters. And um, yeah, I'm gonna have not. I'm gonna tell Navi to come follow me. <laughs> okay. All right. So Navi sort of follows you. Okay. <laughs> Navi, just for the time, let's keep an eye on Faye, new member and all that, and also voice is a bit off putting, so <laughs> and I just whispered that all of that to Navi in the captain's headquarters. Alright. <laughs> um I'm whispering like I'm saying it very quietly. But yeah, I'm telling Navi to keep an eye on Faye just in case. Because Yeah. And let me know if Faye does anything, too. Alright. Um, Captain Black Knight, I still have a question for you. Yes. Now I understand that your mission to try and be from Gilmar is important. But... This strike seems to be from the crown itself one of them as she holds up the symbol of the kingdom of Lander. Mm -hmm. I think you should try contacting your family, maybe help them out. Have your new party possibly... Uh, I can keep an eye on them if they, need to sh if they use the ship. But have you contact them get some information, maybe a, a course of action against this. We can handle on one hand, but you're the only one that can handle the political I can do that. I can go contact them. So how long would it take? But yes, we can from one end. I'm equipped to okay. touch any badge, like keep an eye on them if you need. Okay. Oh. 
I'll keep. I'll. I'll go. I'll try to contact my family and see if they need help on their end. Not if they need help. If they can help me. Right now, as she sort of pulls up box log, I know the captain, mm -hmm. former captain. Like me keeping records. The same thing happened. Right. But as it showed, sort of the idea they had trying to get the political parties to swing towards. At first, it started off with the Nicolier family, as they created the ship and also a couple of their cases pockets had information about it. Along with that, mm -hmm. finding out Chauvin of them trying to put people in power to gain information about them. Um, I, we can only send them out to so you get information there and see if your family can help you at all in that way. So that possibly we avoid any possibly tackle this from two points. Okay, I'll see what information I can get. You didn't fail us at all. Navi, thank you. I'll go... I'll, I'll... I'll check on my family and see what I can find from them. I'll let you guys know. This session comes to an end. Thank you guys for joining us. This has been a roller coaster ride of emotions and shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you want to check us out anywhere else, we have uh, streams every Thursday. Sorry, every Tuesday, Thursday. Saturday for D&D, and Sunday for, well, switching off. This week we'll be doing, um, if you come by tomorrow for Sunday, we're doing um, Darkness Falls, actually, for Seven Days to Die. Find out what the new rules are. <laughs> I think with all that being said, I'm gonna raid out to Cory Jo. She's been nice to us, raided us a couple times. And yeah, above all else, guys, make sure to keep calm, geek on, and as our good friend Mark always says, <gasps> you might want to do that again, my friend. Wait, I don't have yeah. to on. Hold on one second. I'm, I'm am I here? Can you can you see me? Yeah, you're here. Now. <gasps> hey, now I'm here. Hello, everybody. I've been here sitting in the background, you know, because I'm dead. <laughs> 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 All right, but yeah, you might want to say that one more time because it came in broken. Oh. Uh, Oh, no, that's because I said it low. But I'll tell everybody. Now you can take your headphones off. I'll tell everybody one more time to go ahead. <laughs> yes, please. Buy the merch if you want to help us out at all. And we'll see you guys here next time.